Crockett. Shows good strength. No foul. Ford. from Katie McCabe, a lovely overlap. See here, Kalova winning four back from Olivia McLaughlin. It's Hayley Ford slips it through. <laughs> the overlap here slides it, and Katie McCabe made no mistake from that. Nothing that any positioning or defensive setup could do about that. Van Domselaar gets to a near post, but the sheer velocity of this rocket from Katie McCabe, slipped down the left from Palova. Lovely little way to pass, and it's that precision that Arsenal have lacked so far in this game that Katie McCabe brought in that advanced left position. And we know she only ever scores bangers. Sometimes you just got to get your foot through it. The relief palpable. They know they've got the best part of 10 minutes to get themselves a winger, a, a winner even. The touch from Mead, sets back Sidious away! Off the post, for the second time. McKay. Well, you wonder with Black Stenius and Russo top, with Katie McCabe in that left position if they'd have played more of the game like this how many more difficulties are they offering to Aston Villa it got kind of boring halfway through the game from Arsenal they created nothing that was scintillating up top and now it's wave after wave of attack Kim Little now Ford on the outside pull over and now the cast Ruben Moy into me of Russo that they've had with England Beth Mee draws a player slips it in field to Russo who has the better option it's poor goalkeeping from Daphne van Domselaar it squirms underneath her she had to get a strong hand on that but brilliant awareness from Beth Mead as short of game time that Beth Mead is she does exceptionally well to recognise the situation a solid strike from Russo and Domsalar left with her head in her hands. That's a good cross.